uh, hi in this video we are going to see how to find the difference between two different date so that is what we are going to see today so in order to do that i'll just uh, i just open this dwlang.fun website so once you open you can explore all kind of data wave coding here so i'll just go to the payload and i'll just change or i'll provide some kind of date related information so what we are going to do we are going to find a difference between two different date so i'll say my start date and i'll just give some start date value so i'll say uh, 14 0 1 and i'll just keep this year only which is yesterday today my time is uh, 15 january so i'm just giving a start date as yesterday's date and then i will add one more value in this object so whenever we do this curly braces right and you can have n number of key value pairs so this is the first key and uh, this is the value for the start date which is our key and then the second field i'm just giving like end date colon and i'll just give today's date 15th 1 and 2022 so i'm just going to find between difference between these two different date as we have multiple key i have added and separator called comma okay so now uh, if i look at my payload right and i'll just give only payload and you'll be able to see the result at the right side so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to find a difference between these two different date so that we will get a difference in date as a value as one and also you will see the difference between month and year as well in this particular demo so in order to do that we are going to use something called in the core module we have something called periods so that's the one we are going to use it and in the periods we are also going to use this between which will help us to find the difference between two different date so i'll just close this one so mainly we need to import that particular module which is available in our core module in the core module so we have something called period so that is what we are going to use it okay so now i added that so which is available under dw double colon core periods okay so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to declare some variable and uh, in order to say what is this date format right because sometime in your input it might have month in the first place date in the second so here i have given a date in the first place and month in the second place so we have to tell what is the format all about so we have to give the incoming date time pattern so here whatever i have given it's just a two different date in your case it could be your order date pickup date or birth date or whatever it is right so we can find the difference between those two different date so now for this one i'm going to use a variable call start date as well here and equal to and i'm just going to say payload because this entire data is a payload only i'm going to take a start date and i'm just going to say what is my format of that particular date input so i'll just use a curly brace here and then i'll say format and colon and then you have to specify the date format value so here uh, my date right which is coming in the first place so this is a date which is 14 and i'll give a month month we have to give it in a capital so this is we are following a java daytime pattern okay so the year will be smaller y and this is the, our variable okay so now whatever the start date variable we have assigned this particular start date and also we have given the daytime pattern as well so that this particular variable will know how to extract or how to store the data in a particular date format so now what i'll do i'll just create one more variable similarly for our end date and then i'll say payload dot end date as and i'm going to specify that as a date and then i'll say my what is my format similar format only i'm just giving y y y y okay so now this is done so now we have to find the difference between these two different date start date and end date so for that what i'm going to do as i told earlier we are going to use something called uh, between in the core module okay so mainly in the periods module we are going to use something called between so for that i'll just create one more variable i'm going to find a difference between this total two different date right which is a start date and end date i'll say here periods double colon and then i'll go to use something called between and we are going to find a difference between end date comma start date okay so now whatever the difference it's stored here and i have to give a equal to here because this is also variable and uh, how we are deriving the value for this variable 
and we are using this function uh, between in the core module called periods there I am just passing end date and start date and whatever the difference between these dates it will get stored here so earlier I was printing the entire payload now what I want to print is this total duration okay so for that I'll just create a my payload output here okay so this is my object so you can give any kind of format okay so I'm just giving object for here and then I'm just going to define some value okay so for example this total duration will have a uh, details about how many days in between how many in months in between how many years in between okay so I'll just say uh, days okay so how many days different so this is just a key and we are going to give a value so value I'm going to take it from this total duration and then you just give colon so these are the values you can take it okay so I'll just give days right I'll just give days so you'll be able to see how many days we are having a different because 14 and 15 right there's only one day is different right so I'll just give days and then comma and then uh, because I'm going to add multiple keys and values so that's why I added a comma here and I'll just give months okay so for here I'll just give months this is a key colon and uh, again I'm going to give a total duration which is our variable there I'm going to take months okay you just type months okay so see here there's a difference in month zero only because uh, both are in January and then I'll add a comma and then I'll just give years and then colon and I'm going to take the years value also from total duration see here when you compare these two different date and you find the difference between these two then you are getting only one day and zero month difference and uh, zero years different okay so I'll just change this start date alone I'll just give 2017 see here so what is the gap between these two dates five years zero month and one day so I'll just try slightly change uh, this month value to June see here now what is the difference between these two different date four years seven months and one days okay so one day so that is the difference which we are trying to buy find using a between function which is available in the core uh, and periods uh, module so this way you can find any day difference between two different date and also you can um, find a difference between any kind of date for example I have an order date and I have a pickup date for example I'll just change this uh, I can give a date for order date here and uh, pickup date and if you wanted to see how many days it took for overall delivery right you can easily calculate using a between method which is available in our periods core module thank you